Hello guys, what's up? How are you today? Macy is also down here. Would you like to come? Good kiss, good kiss, thank you. Thank you so much. Mom has to work, so go away. Go away, peace. But it's good to see you guys. It's been a minute. How long has it been since I posted a video? A while. I have been doing other things. I wanted to update you guys on what my life is these days. Also, how are we feeling about this eyeliner? I kind of like it. I saw someone on TikTok do it. If you're going to stay, you need to settle. Anyway, I saw someone on TikTok do this eye makeup thing and I thought it was cool. I don't know. But hi, it's good to see you guys again. Well, I'm not seeing you. I'm so sorry that I've been away for a while. I know that a lot of you guys enjoy routine and so do I. My routine has been slightly scattered, which which has been pretty difficult and I'm sure it was for you guys as well. I am okay. Change of routine is hard, but getting back to it is also hard, but I'm gonna be fine. We're gonna do it. Everything's gonna be okay. But I want to tell you guys about what my life has been like. Before we dive into the video, I need to take a minute to thank our sponsor for this video, HelloFresh. And first off, I wanna thank all of you guys because if you did not watch my videos, then HelloFresh would not have sponsored me the first time and then let alone again here. So thank you guys. If you have ever thought about getting a meal delivery service, HelloFresh is the one. I personally love HelloFresh because I have a really big problem with interoception. That means that my body doesn't tell me when I'm hungry. So oftentimes if I do not have things planned, I won't eat. And planning sometimes can take way too long. Get I get really frustrated and also grocery stores, are a sensory nightmare. Did you know that the average trip to a grocery store is 41 minutes? Thanks to HelloFresh, I do not need to go in a grocery store. <laughs> and knowing the meals that are coming in, knowing that I will already like the meals coming in, it cuts that stress completely out of meal planning. And the recipes are delicious. All produce is shipped to you faster than you would get if you went to a grocery store and bought it keeping all of the produce at its peak freshness directly from farmers. They have low calorie, carb smart, pescatarian and vegetarian options as well. Another reason why I love HelloFresh is you are actually wasting less food. Sometimes you buy a lot and then you don't use it and then it just sits in the fridge and gets bad, you have to throw it out. But with HelloFresh, they send you the exact amount of ingredients that you need. So you have a lot less food waste. And actually your carbon footprint is 25% lower by ordering from HelloFresh rather than going and getting a meal at a grocery store. They're super flexible to suit your needs. You can add extra lunches and dinners, more proteins, a nice dessert for afterward, or you can even add a meal compliment like HelloFresh's best-selling garlic bread. You can also change the days you get your delivery on and you can skip a week whenever you need to. In the year 2020, HelloFresh donated 4 million meals and plans to do much more this year. So honestly, what are you waiting for? Go to HelloFresh.com and use my code PAGELAYAL14 to get 14 free meals, including free shipping. Thank you so much to HelloFresh for sponsoring this video and for you guys for watching and helping me get HelloFresh to sponsor me yet again. The link for HelloFresh is down below in the description. And now let's go back into the video. Hey, so let me give you the rundown on what my routine looks like. I have a weekly routine, so I do the same things every Monday, every Tuesday, every Wednesday. I feel like that's pretty basic. I would like to not do it that way, but that's the only way I can fit everything I need to do all together. So a while ago, before I was any kind of social media, anything, I started my own lash and brow business. I do lash extensions. So I put lashes on people's lashes and I tattoo eyebrows. So like I do powder microblading, combo brows, that kind of thing. And I've been doing that for about two years. I had about 60 regular clients coming in every two to three weeks to get fills. Now that I do social media things, I want to coordinate more of my time to social media stuff. There are a lot of opportunities to do things that I really want to do. And it seems like it's kind of never ending. Whereas when doing lash and brows, you can only have a certain number of clients. There's only so many hours in the day. It's kind of, uh, you get static at some point. You can fill up all your time, only make that much money. You can always increase your prices and things like that. But another thing about doing lashes and brows is that I'm constantly talking to people. I'm constantly having people come in and out of my house. I'm worried about my dog. A lot of the times I would book full, full days and then I wouldn't eat. I wouldn't go to the bathroom, which a uh, thing that you guys probably know about me. If I don't plan to do something, I won't do it, especially because my interoception is so poor that my body doesn't tell me when I need to do those things. So I need to have them planned. And doing this was causing me um, a lot of uh, troubles with eating disorders. I got kidney infections a lot more frequently. My stomach issues were coming back. A lot of things like that were happening. 
So I needed to make some changes and I needed to not do lashes and brows all day, every day. So I have it set now that I'm only doing the clients that I already have. And once they drop out, they drop out. If they don't come to me for some reason, I'm, I'm good. I'm no longer doing any full sets of lashes. Lashes are pr the primarily what takes up the most of my time. So I have about 35 lash clients now since I moved into my new house that I am keeping that if they drop off, they drop off. And then I will just shorten those hours and make more time for social media things. But my social media days are Mondays and Tuesdays. And by that, I mean, those are the days that I edit YouTube videos. Usually I will film YouTube videos on Fridays in between my clients, but that gets a little messy. It's all just a little messy. I'm just trying to make it more solid. And then I've decided to have one day off a week because people deserve a day off, right? And so Thursdays are my day off where I don't do any kind of work. The only kind of work I do is like housework. So that being said, those were my YouTube days. And if those days were taken up by something else, I would not have time to do YouTube, especially if that thing that wanted to take up that time was going to pay me really well a lot more in a month than YouTube does. I got a job offer and I don't know how much I can disclose as of now because it's not out yet, but basically I was asked if I wanted to audition to be the voice of an audiobook. And I thought that sounds pretty cool. I love talking, I love reading, I'm an actor an actor, but I auditioned. I didn't think I was going to get it, but I ended up getting it. They asked me about my availability and things. And I thought, well, if I take away my lash clients and all my lash times, well then they're all going to be mad at me. And then that's real human beings in my real life that are going to be mad at me that I will have to reschedule and figure out and move around. And they'll have to all get full sets by the time I come back. Anyway, I decided that I would not do YouTube for however long it took to complete this project. So I recorded an audio book and it was amazing. They sent me a bunch of equipment to record it from my house. And because I don't have a soundproof room yet. I would like to because I want to do more of this. We recorded in my closet. So this is where my setup begins actually. The laptop has to be outside of the room because the fan is too much noise. Naughty laptop gets put in a timeout and I have to shut the door and this is where I've been recording. I have to be this far away from the microphone. A little sideways because my asses are too pronounced and read all day. At least my closet's a walk-in closet, so it was a little spacious and there's a light in there. But I sat in a room in my closet for days, reading a book out loud. And it was amazing. I love reading. I'm hyperlexic, so I'm pretty good at reading as well. The one problem that I continuously had was I'm too Canadian. When sentences had multiple ow sounds in them. So when I say about, like you guys all know I'm Canadian you, from me saying like, oh, I went out the other day uh into my house like you guys all know it that i'm sure i did not know i was so canadian until doing this because when i was like oh what are you talking about going out what's that about every time the director was like you're gonna have to do that again i'm like okay about about is that proper and there were so many times that just about and out and bag like grab the bag apparently that's not how you say it i don't know how to say it properly bag 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 no that's like bag I don't know, you guys are weird. But yeah, so that is what I have been doing Mondays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays. Instead of doing YouTube and having a day off, I was recording an audiobook. And that should be coming out shortly and I will be posting more about it shortly once I get the go ahead from everybody when it is good to go. I'm very excited about it. I really enjoyed the book. You guys will have to be updated on my TikTok if you are not doing so already. Oh my gosh, follow my TikTok at Paige Leal. And while you're at it, you could follow my Instagram with the same name. But on TikTok, I will be posting and updating people on the audiobook when it's coming out and where you can find it and what the book is about. Also, I hope you enjoy my voice because it's literally me talking. So if you watch my YouTube videos, you're gonna have a swagger time listening to this audiobook. Now I've been doing some other things while I've been away. I have been updating my schedule. My schedule is very important to me. If I do not plan every aspect of my life, it will not get done. And if I have a time slot that is not planned, I will not do anything. I will just sit there 
and be sad about it. Anyway, because of this large paycheck from this audiobook, thank you very much, I decided perhaps it was time to treat myself because I do not treat myself. I also do not take breaks. I have been conditioned to be a capitalist machine. I just work all the time. So I thought, you know, I should finally do something for me. And you know what? It was not myself that thought this. I did not think this. I just thought I would put this money, I would invest it, I would put it down to pay for my house. But I took a little bit, a little bit of money and decided I was going to go to Nova Scotia for a little bit. I've never been to the East Coast. Maybe it's time to tell you guys that I have a girlfriend now. <laughs> she lives in Nova Scotia. So I went out to see her and I only stayed there for five days. I didn't take too many videos or pictures. I'm not really a good vlogger because I really like to be in the moment and oftentimes I forget about my cell phone or that other people would also like to see what I'm doing. I feel like if I recorded everything I was doing, I probably wouldn't be very happy. And my happiness is very important to me because it has to be because I have depression. So, so I did go on a plane. I went on a plane there and back and wow, planes are magnificent. I did not expect to like it as much as I did. And I like being in the clouds. And then another thing that I did when I got back, I adopted a kitten. Hello. You better come up here. Oh, I've wanted a cat for a long time and I knew that I would want one when I moved out into my own house. I have been looking at cats for a few months, but then one of my childhood friends, her cat had a bunch of kittens and she needed to get rid of them. So I adopted a little boy, a little baby boy. I still am not 100% solid on what his name is going to be. I do know though that I want it to start with an M. So it kind of goes with Macy. I want it to be like nerdy or something nerdy, something that I like, which I was like, I like crystals. I can name them Moonstone, Mookite, Malachite, things about like my favorite TV shows and stuff. I was thinking Marvelo, but he doesn't seem like a Marvelo. Malfoy is still up in the air. Marius from Les Mis, Mercutio, Romeo and Juliet, Mikasa. Mikasa was a girl on Attack on Titan. Gender's a construct, so uh, you know what? Mikasa could be a fit. He's also a Virgo. I don't know why, but I thought of, um, I want to name him Mikado. Mikado is a color of yellow, and it's also what they used to call a Japanese emperor, and it also translates to August Gate, which I thought is really funny because he is born in August, right at the cusp of Leo and Virgo. It's just kind of like a gate. Yeah, so that's what I've been up to lately, but I will be coming back with lots more things to talk about. I'm hoping to have some new projects in the future, which will allow me to be more engaged with everybody. I'm also hoping to wean away my lash and brow business a little bit so I can have more time to do social media things and have more time to be able to talk to everybody and find out what you guys want, how you're doing, how you feel. We're working on it, but it is a process. But in the meantime, let me know if you have video request ideas, anything you would like to see. In the future, I wanna talk about the experience recording an audible book for anyone who's interested. I also wanna talk about my airport experience because that was a really cool time. And I think that it's really hard for a lot of autistic people to go to the airport, especially without a parental figure. But I'm not a vlogger and I'm really sorry. I mean, there's the potential like go proing things, but it's not gonna be cool because I'm not gonna be able to act in it because I'm gonna be like living the real life. So it's going to be probably not that interesting for everybody. It's gonna be very real. I really don't wanna record it people in public without their permission. So it's probably not something I'm gonna do. I hope you guys are okay with me just sitting here and talking to you. Well, thank you. Thank you guys so much for being here. Uh, regular videos, again, will start being posted every Friday as usual. I appreciate you guys for being so respectful and kind with me taking a break and doing other things. I hope that you guys enjoy the audiobook as much as I enjoyed recording it. Thank you again to HelloFresh for sponsoring this week's video. And thank you guys for understanding that sponsors do make these videos possible. I love you guys all so much. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being you. And I will see you next week.